Whenever the water sides of a boiler have been opened, it must be inspected, closed, and hydrostatically tested before being placed back in service. Inspect all drums and headers for loose gear. Also, be sure they are clear of personnel. All the internal steam drum fittings must be reinstalled. First, the internal feed pipe. Then the D superheater. Next, the dry pipe. And finally, the steam baffles. You are now ready to reinstall the handhold plates. The boiler cannot operate properly unless all pressure parts of the manhole and handhold plates are thoroughly tight. Here are the cleaning tools you will need. A hand wire brush, a hand scraper, fine emery cloth, thread dies, and a wrench. The gasket seating surfaces on both the plate itself and the header or drum must be thoroughly cleaned. Brush the plate with a hand wire brush until it is clean of all rust and scale. Be sure to give particular care to the threads and gasket seat. After brushing, polish the seat with emery cloth. Next, oil the threads. Then, with a die nut, rechase the threads on the plate stud. Now, brush the seat of the header with a short handle wire brush. If necessary, polish the seat of the header, taking care, however, not to dig into the seat. Then, using a flashlight and a hand mirror, inspect the seat of the header for any bits of the old gasket remaining on the seat. Now install the new gasket on the seat of the plate. Be sure the fit is right, not too loose, and not overhanging the edges of the plate.
using an open-end wrench, set up the nut lightly, just enough to hold the plate in position. A light tap will help the plate to seat firmly. When installing the round handhole plugs found in superheater and economizer headers, special assembly techniques are often required. Follow the procedures in the manufacturer's instruction books. Our third and last step in closing the boiler, installation of the manhole plates. These plates are installed in practically the same manner as the handhole plates. Care must be taken to clean all gasket seats thoroughly on both manhole and manhole plate sides. With both seats cleaned, install the gasket on the plate. Then set the plate in the manhole. Set the arch bars in place. Thread on the nuts and tighten lightly. Then center the manhole plate accurately in the manhole opening. The clearance between the opening and the shoulder in the manhole plate should not exceed one sixteenth of an inch all around. If excessive clearance exists, report it. With the boiler closed, it is now ready for hydrostatic testing. As the pressure is applied, the gaskets will be forced into place by the surrounding water pressure. However, if a plate has not been properly seated, it will continue to leak. In that event, a slight blow with a hammer may relieve the tension on the gasket, the water pressure behind the gasket forcing it into place. As the hydrostatic test is run in the boiler, look for leaking plugs, a condition usually caused by the presence of foreign matter or by small nicks in the gasket. In such a situation, the leakage can be corrected only by breaking down the fitting, removing it from the header, and recleaning or replacing the necessary parts. By doing the cleaning job right when installing handhole plugs, you will avoid the necessity of redoing the job. When all leaking gaskets have been adjusted, Set up the plates firmly using a handhole or manhole plate wrench especially designed for the job. The successful hydrostatic test proves that the boiler has been properly closed and is ready to be put back in service.